Greetings, sister, goddess. I hope your day is going well. Listen, all of us want more confidence. Uh, studies have shown that women uh, just don't have the confidence in themselves that they really ought to have given the degrees they have, uh, the power they have, the positions that they have. So I want to share with you five phrases that you should eliminate from your vocabulary that will help you to appear more confident and to feel more confident, okay? First, let me just do this little public service announcement. I wanna make a request. I'm asking each woman who's coming to the Sisters Gathering to Heal this year, to donate at least $10, right? $10 at least. You're welcome to donate more. Last year, one woman donated $50. God bless her. Other women donated $10 and $20. And you can donate as little as $5, but I'm asking for $10 each. Why? Because we have costs associated with the event. For one, Janine Ingram. My co-facilitator is flying in from Chicago. This is a free event, but I wanted to defray the cost of her coming. Also, because we've grown so large, over 350 women have said yes so far to coming. We need a mic. And so if you donate $10, then you help us pay for these things that we need. There are other costs associated with doing an event, like even not necessarily renting the place because we're in the park, but we do have to pay for being there. So I thank you for your donation of $10 or more and know that you are loved and appreciated. So let's, let me share these five phrases that you ought to eliminate from your vocabulary beginning today. And you'll be familiar with these phrases. These phrases are phrases that women use commonly, too often. And so here we go. The first one is, I'm sorry. You ever walked into a room and said, I'm sorry, or a woman walked into a room and said, I'm sorry, and she did nothing but showed up. So I'm sorry says, I apologize for my very existence. So let that go, stop saying that. And even if you hurt somebody's feelings, you can use I apologize. There's something just very different energetically about I apologize versus I'm sorry. Number two, this may not make sense. A lot of times you, you want, you know, you see a woman in, an, in a meeting or perhaps you've been in a meeting and before you made that statement, you had an idea, but you are saying this may not make sense. Well, then you're setting the people up for their listening to be, this doesn't make sense. Eliminate that. Don't put it in your writing. Don't speak it. Number three, just. I remember meeting a woman and I asked her what did she do? And she said, I'm just the administrative assistant. Just, just take that out. Just should only be used the way I used it, not I'm just. So I am the administrative assistant. You see how different that sounds and feels? I'm just minimizes, marginalizes her. Don't do that. I'm no expert. If you're talking about your life, you are the expert. I'm the expert on my life. And let me tell you something. Because we are connected, we are God expressed. When we speak, we get downloads, we get into intuitive hits. We know what we're talking about. Just trust that knowing, trust that knowing. So you are the expert. So don't say you're not, just take it out. And the last one, does this make sense? If I say everything I'm saying to you, and then at the end I say, does this make sense? What would you think? That I don't have confidence in what I'm saying. So, 
just be mindful of your words because words have power. They create. They create. And you don't want to create stuff that you don't want, right? So I love you. I'm Deborah M. Ricks. I'm the coach, editor, and I am proudly the founder of Sister Scavenged Hill. If you want to get in touch with me, Deborah and Ricks at gmail.com. Smooches.